darlings. Welcome back for another episode of Look What Meg Found. Today, I have something fun for you. It's going to be a little hard hitting and maybe hit a few nerves, but that is okay. If you are new to the channel and you do not know me, I am Meg Campbell. I am your host. I am a hand crafter by nature. It is what I do for a living. And I spend so much time either networking online with other creative people or being at markets and being around other creative people that I really decided that you all need to see what I see. You need to see the talent I come across. You need to understand the people I meet and build relationships with so that you can understand why I love these products as much as I do. So today I'm bringing you another book review. Full disclosure, just like every other book review you've ever heard me do, if you're looking for a technically perfect, this book was written in this style, this is why it's in that style, the voice was this, the cadence is that, that ain't what you're getting with me. I want to tell you why this book resonates with me. I want to tell you why I think you should go get a copy of this book. So today what I've got for you is wives, Wise Wives Build, and I can't ever get it out without stumbling over it. This is by Cassandra Williams. She's a very good friend of mine. And I, I read the book and then I put it down because it scared me and I picked it back up and I read it again and I put it down because there were things I needed to think about and then I read it again and now you guys get to hear what, you know, six weeks of processing with this book got to me. Wise Wives Build is based upon the fact that all relationships need work. All relationships are a work in progress. And the fact that even though things wind up slipping, you can get them back on track. It's a look at how things go wrong, why things go wrong, and how they can be fixed. Whether you do that from the religious point of view from within the church, if you do that from finding faith in yourself, whatever that may be. But the reason why I had to put it down is because in this book, I saw a lot of problems that my husband and I had early on in our relationship, trying to learn how to be a couple and be together. And I can tell you, if I'd had this book 16 years ago, things would have been easier. But... It made me stop and look at situations and look at the way that I react to situations and realize that I am not a single individual who lives with another person. We are a partnership. We are two people and we have to find a way to work together and be a single unit, which is a really hard concept sometimes because I am me, he is him. And sometimes we forget that while there's me and there's him, there's also us. And us has taken a beating a couple of times in our marriage. And I don't mean that figuratively, guys. That's not a literal statement. That's a mental, emotional statement before anybody thinks I said something that I didn't. Um, but we have had to learn and grow. And honestly, the steps that we took to learn and grow are almost exactly what was outlined in this book. It was about finding faith, finding the communication, and finding the trust in each other that we can do this. The other partnership that comes with this book that I highly recommend when you get Wise Wives Build, you also need to get the activity journal. It's 30 activities, it's 30 minutes a day, it's 30 days. Honestly, you know, when you're working on your physical health, they tell you to devote 30 minutes a day to your physical health. And if you can do that, you will see massive growth and change in your physical health. A marriage, a relationship, whether it's marriage or living together, whatever, when you're in a relationship with another person, you need to work on maintaining the health of that relationship. So stop and think for a minute. What would 30 minutes a day invested for 30 days in your relationship, what would that look like? What would it look like if you spent 30 minutes a day focusing on building a healthier relationship? I think you would really be surprised. So I will drop the links to both of these. I do honestly believe that they should be done together. 
I really do. I think that you're going to get the book and you're going to go, oh, that's a short read. No, no, it's not. You're going to read it several times just like I did because there are parts of that that are going to resonate with you and that are really going to hit hard. So I'm going to drop the links so that you can get them. They will be in the description box down below. And I am off to find you all something else. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you click the thumbs up on the video. Make sure you click subscribe so you can stay tuned for everything that's next. And I will see you guys again on the adventure. Bye, guys.